What is up, YouTube and people of the internet? We are out here today in some random parking lot. I'm with my friend here, Max. What's going on? And we are uh, losing a bit of daylight, but that's probably a good thing because today we're shooting the stars. All right, so I've got an arsenal for us today. Jeez. I've got Holy my cow. tripod, a tripod in case you didn't have one, a Jeez. tripod for the light, a light, a flashlight, I've got a headlamp in my bag, a GoPro. All right. Dude, coming full on prepared. <laughs> Gosh. You ready? Love it. <laughs> you never know. Let's get it. All right, we just got to the spot and I realized there's a cool pattern in the grass that leads Oh wait, I'm like, I thought the camera was, okay. <laughs> I thought this was like the camera. <laughs> Dude, I've got I'm a, so mesmerized by this. I've got a new light situation going on with my camera. And so, I don't know how well you can see, hopefully you can see well, but we just arrived at the spot. Oh, and the light might attract some bugs. <laughs> <laughs> but we just got to the spot out here and there's some grass that's recently been cut. I think they grow wheat grass of some sort and harvest it. It's been harvested. Yeah, see this right here? might add for a good leading line. Anyway, the main reason we're out here today is uh, Max here has never really shot the stars nope. with like a tripod or in a really dark spot. And so we're out here in like the middle of nowhere in between cities and it's dark out here. We're gonna get our tripods out, all the stuff situated, set up, try to compose a shot and... Yeah, excited. <laughs> There's another one, uh, handheld. Yeah, it's a okay. little, little hazy, but that yeah, might be it's... the way it attracts light. The sensor yeah. might just really gather it up. Yeah. So we could just adjust your settings accordingly to make it really contrasty, if that's the look you're going for. Yeah. If you have a setting to shoot in RAW, I would... I do. Okay. I am in RAW. I would recommend that. So, I think we've got a situation here where... Oh, we've got a situation here. <laughs> we've been... His, his camera is not like mine. It's a Sony. <laughs> <laughs> and we go. we've been figuring out ISO, focus, and white balance. And we finally, I think, worked out to where we... One, got it in focus, the, the stars at least. We just finally worked his settings down to where a good photo would happen. But we haven't clicked take yet. Here goes the moment. I'm going to have to turn... Uh, this light off because we don't want it in our photo and so here we go I'm gonna turn this off right now three two one uh oh processing <sighs> trust the process my friends processing processing <gasps> oh, is it good you can Let's obviously go. tell it's a little smoky out let's go look at that that's beautiful. Let's go. The background is so soft. It's like, I d oh, yeah. The effect that the smoke has in the sky is Thank absolutely you. unreal. That's something <laughs> the fires can make uh, in California, and I think we have a few here in Oregon that uh, can help with making some ambient sky. Okay, so I'm gonna go over here, and I'm gonna turn this on. But you gotta tell me when you're gonna take, All right. and then we're gonna time when I illuminate the barn. Okay. Is this? Oh, I thought that was a person. <sighs> okay, let me know when you're taking. All right, I'm gonna start taking in three, two, one, go. Oh, you know what? I'm getting the ground too. It's gonna totally look like it. I didn't even realize you could throw light on stuff like that and just like make it look yeah. super cool. Tricks. Yeah, it's so cool. Yeah, it's a little bright. Should I go do it again, but maybe not uh, as much light? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. All right. Let's get it dialed in. All right, I think that was less. Processing? Yeah, process. I, I tilted it up a little bit too because I wanted to get focus more on the sky than the, than the foreground just to see a little bit more of a contrast. Dude, you're like, you look buff because your arm's in the shade. Oh, oh yeah. 
Yeah, and all I could see is like barely any light. <laughs> like hitting just the ripples of muscle. <laughs> a little bit of that side, a little bit of over there, done. Uh, the right side of the barn isn't that well lit. Mm. And I, I actually kind of like it like that too though. It's up mm -hmm. to you yeah. what you want to do. Spend some time in America. <laughs> Alright, I think it's dad's turn. <laughs> Daddy O. It's old man's turn. To take a photo. For old time's sake. So, you guys cannot see. I'm gonna turn this off and then come back to you folks. Car coming. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, people, I've been taking several photos. I went to the front side of the barn, the back side of the barn, I switched lenses, I got super close up. I haven't decided which photo is my favorite yet. I think it's the one with my 14 millimeter lens because just the grass is in focus. Well, here it is. I've been off doing my own thing, trying to get my own photo, and so I think I'm gonna try to help him get the first photo he was trying to get, but we're gonna try to master it. Gotta I'm gonna, master I'm gonna it. try to be a little bit selfless. And Ryan's been and selfless this whole night. Don't let him fool you otherwise. <laughs> I'm trying to help. Let me know if you guys like the photo I took today. By the way, this is a very heavy setup that I'm holding. I've got a tripod that's massive, the most massive lens I have, a massive camera, light with a rig to hold it, same rig holding a mic. You guys just don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I need arms like his hey, <laughs> to hold it. You gotta <laughs> get up there. <laughs> oh wait. Oh. Guns for the fam. <laughs> <laughs> It kind of sucks that the stars aren't prevalent. Right. It's kind of what I told you about photography. Sometimes yeah. you show up and the conditions are just different. Me and Max were out here in this field photographing this barn and I figured I'd set up a time lapse to take a two second exposure every two seconds. And we noticed a bright flash of light. I thought it was a meteor at the time, but I got home and saw this flash of light. Looks like a line, but it's got a weird bend to it. And I've seen asteroids in my photos before, or meteors, or whatever it may be, but this one was different. This appears to have some sort of bend or twist in it, so I think it's something else. Leave a comment below and let me know what you think it is. Alright, well that sums up our photography session out here. Trying to get the Milky Way, but it didn't really pan out. However, the fires did create some sort of crazy glow. I hope you guys like those photos. We explored a little bit with trying to get a composition of us holding flashlights looking like mysterious. And uh, some of those turned out. I'm gonna flash them on the screen for you now. Uh, if you like those, go ahead and leave a comment below. But until next time, that does it here. I think we're done. We're done. It's time to go home and Shout go to bed. Out. Let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> get it as in get uh, get sleep. Get that sleep. <laughs> get that eight hours. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. That's probably a good thing because we're going to stu- <laughs> <laughs> I had it all perfect. It was okay. Let me guys, let me guys, outtake. We explored a little bit. <laughs> explored a little bit. <laughs>